Here we go back again with another match day preview and Sunderland do welcome Sheffield Wednesday up to the Stadium of Light for a 12 o'clock kickoff on Sunday. Yes, the championship early pace setters. Sheffield Wednesday top of the table on goal difference after a great start of the season. So only one person got the correct score against Preston on Tuesday night. That was David Jones who said Preston would win 2-0. So you go into the hat along with the previous People have got the correct score for the Cardiff game. And also, whoever gets the correct score against Sheffield Wednesday will also go into the hat for a chance to win one of these two shirts. Choice will be yours. Now, talking about shirts before we go into the preview, here is the third kit. It looks like a pair of pyjamas, doesn't it? I'll tell you what it is. Regardless what it represents, which is absolutely amazing to do with the min Miners and to do with Sunderland AFC, of course. The colours and the design itself, in my opinion, is absolutely horrendous. It's probably the worst kind of design I've seen for a long time. And the, the mishmash of colours, you can't really see what's on the shirt. And also that's black and white bit stripes on the end of the, the sleeves as well. So at the end of the day, it's not my cup of tea, in my opinion. There's no way Jose will be purchasing that shirt out of the three strips this season. That is way, way. We've got 10 out of 10 for the home one, 10 out of 10 for the away one. I'm giving this a mere 2 out of 10. It is absolutely awful in my opinion and a poor design. But everyone has different opinions. Let me know your thoughts down below on the third kit that we've just released today. So Sunderland do welcome Sheffield Wednesday up to the Stadium of Light. I hope the fans have a great journey up. I've got a few fans who come on the channel, absolutely fantastic. And may the best team win. Now Danny Rowe is still the head coach there, 35 years of age. There was rumours that we were going to try and kind of sort of poach him to Sunderland. But he's, you know, he's dedicated his future to Sheffield Wednesday, which is full respect to that. 35 years of age, 40 games in charge, won 18, drawn 6, lost 16. And the last game of the season at home was against Sheffield Wednesday. They did beat us 2-0 to survive in the championship. And they have sort of tried to build on that with nine new incomings over the summer, including Jamal Lowe from Bournemouth, who was on loan to Swansea last season, Jan Valerie and Nathaniel Chalabar, yes, from West Bromwich Albion, and Valerie from Angers, I think is in France. So yeah, they've brought in one or two youngsters as well and one or two experienced players. So nine incomings for Sheffield Wednesday's Danny Rowe. Like I said, they had a good end the last season to survive in the championship. They did beat Blackburn 3-1 at West Brom at home 3-0 and of course Sunderland 2-0. So watch your score predictions down below on that. It'll be a tough game. They also went during the week and they played away at a hole in the AFL Cup where we changed our full 11. And I can understand why he did that, Regis Labrie, yeah, he did that to see, to give the team experience, to give the lads a run out, to see what they're capable of doing. And of course, the one thing that I disagree with, he should have let the fans know well in advance what he was going to do. I know it helps the opposition, but also, a lot, you had 2,000 fans down there going spending hard-earned cash. A lot of them wanting to see a good, you know, a, a good cup run. And to see the first team or some of the first team playing. But most of them didn't realise we're going to play the full 11. So, I think in my eyes, in hindsight, the manager should have head coach should have let the fans know what sort of team he was putting out before the fans decided to travel all the way down to Preston to not really sort of compete that well. Like I said, one or two good players there. We had Rigo played well. Ekwa did well the first 45 minutes. And Noah, you know, made one or two good saves. Ekwa, though, Udinese has put a bid in, apparently, alleged to believe, put a bid in for him, which has been rejected by the club of 4.3 million. So what's your thoughts on Ekwa? What's your thoughts on his performance during the week? He has had a bit of a pre-season injury. He's come back. Good 45 minutes during the week, and of course he can build on that. But Alan Brown now is going to be the sort of the first name on the team sheet in that middle of the park with Dan Neal. I can't see Equa really getting in there apart from substitutes coming on when, when Alan Brown sort of gets tired. But injuries do happen, touch wood, they don't happen at the club this season. We've been plagued with loads of injuries 
over the last few seasons. Let's touch wood, it doesn't happen this season. Same, now, it'll be the same team. The rest of the whole 11 against Cardiff, one or two of them want to substitute Spence. Rest of the whole 11 after the Cardiff game against Preston. There was one or two on the substitute bench, but they were rested for this game at the weekend. I think we're looking as if we're going to be trying, you know, having a good campaign in, in, in the championship and kind of not really sort of putting out full strength sides for the cup matches. And hopefully from when we do play in the FA Cup, he'll let us know what the crack is with that one as well. So yes, watch your score predictions down below. Do you think Sunderland can get back-to-back -back victories against Sheffield Wednesday in the Championship? And I don't mean against Sheffield Wednesday, I mean in the start of the Championship this season. And two games, can we get two wins? I want to try and make the stadium like a bit of a fortress. I would like, I would like Regis Labrie and the team to make the Stadium of Light a little bit of a fortress this season. That would be superb if we can go through a good, good winning sequence at home. But Sheffield Wednesday, like I said, have strengthened the team over the summer and will be a difficult game. Now, I think the team, like I said, will be the same. Patterson in goal, Hume will have Serkin, Lisi and O'Nine as the back four. Neil, Brown, probably Job. We've got Roberts, we've got Clark and Meander up top. Rig. Possibility would come on after so many minutes because he did it was rest after 60 minutes, 70 minutes against Preston. He was the best, the best player. Absolutely superb left foot, controls it, controls his, his passing really well. But it does look as well as if we're not getting Mendy at this moment in time. It looks as if I think he's going to be staying at the club where he's at. So that's a that's a disappointment. I was looking forward to having a good striker in before the you know closing of the window, transfer window, which is August the 30th. Now, how many players do we need in? Benetti could be another player who could be leaving Sunderland. Well, I don't know whether that's on loan. So if Equa goes, Benetti goes, will that free up some funds to try and bring in a striker? We do need two strikers before the, the window closes. And for me, another central defender. There's work to be done in the transfer window. Let's hope Speakman, KLD, can come through with the goods. It would be absolute crying shame. <sighs> Travesty if we kind of bring in a striker before the window closes. I don't really pin any hopes on Rushen and Hamir at this moment in time. Mienda has yet to score. Hopefully he can this weekend. But we do need bodies in. Now, let me know your score prediction down below in the comments for a chance to win one of these two shirts to go to the table. And I'll draw it out next week. So there we go. Thanks for watching the video. It's a quick one. Quick match preview. And I'm sure there'll be a massive crowd coming up from Sheffield as well. Sheffield Wednesday fans, like I said before, always have a good following. So there we go. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. Cheers. Unfortunately, on Sunday, there'll be no bar and grill. It's closed this weekend as Wincy is away on holiday. But Kano, the daft lad, will be going this Sunday. We'll see Kano on the vlog. So there we have it. If you do wish to buy any of those... And these Sunderland tops yourself, have a look on LU Soccer. I'll leave a link down below in the description and top of the comments. Have a look and choose one yourself for 10% off TM10. Thank you for watching. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. We'll see you for the vlog on Sunday when hopefully it's six points out of six. And let me know your thoughts on Sunderland's new away third kit. The pyjama third kit. Am I being harsh? Do you like it? So far, I've seen nobody who gives it any credit whatsoever. But personally, me, 2 out of 10 for making the effort. There we go. Take care. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.